Hey everyone, today's video is a bit different because I want to talk about Apple Care. Apple Care, if you do not know, is the warranty service from Apple, the service that repairs faulty products. The reason for me making this video today is because my MacBook Pro is 10 months old and in two months time, the standard one year warranty on this will expire. So I'm wondering if I should get Apple Care for this to extend the warranty period for an additional two years. Now in my video today, I will talk about my experience with Apple Care. Maybe you can make your own decision as to whether or not it's worth it based on uh, what I have experienced so far. Before I talk about my experience, let's take a look at the Apple Care website. Now there are a few things you need to know about Apple Care. There are two types of Apple Care. There is the normal Apple Care, which has been around since forever. Then there is the Apple Care Plus, which has been recently introduced by Apple. The main difference between the two is Apple Care Plus covers accidental damages mm -hmm. up to, I think, two incidents, but you have to pay for the service fee. As for both Apple Care and Apple Care Plus, um, they both cover hardware damage. And depending on which country you are in, Apple Care Plus may not be available to you. So I'm in Singapore. We do not have Apple Care Plus for Mac. This is the US website, by the way. Some people buy Apple Care for selected products that they own. Some people buy Apple Care for all products that they own. It really is a personal preference. And whether or not Apple Care is worth the money is also quite subjective. Anyway, let's talk about my experience now. Let's take a look at all the products that I have bought since 2005 and whether I have bought Apple Care for them and whether or not I've actually used Apple Care. So the first product that I bought is the Mac Mini 1.4 GHz in 2005. I bought Apple Care. I did not use Apple Care. The second product is the Mac Pro. I bought Apple Care. I used Apple Care a few times. I think two times was the was for the graphics card, and one time was for the power supply. So uh, in this case, Apple Care is definitely worth the money. And after that, I bought an iMac for my sister. I bought Apple Care for that as well, but I did not use Apple Care. Next, I bought a Mac Mini 2012. This is the quad core model. I bought Apple Care as well. I did not use Apple Care. And then after that, I bought the Mac Pro 2013. This is the black cylindrical model. I bought Apple Care. I used Apple Care several times because the Mac Pro kept freezing on me and I have to send it to the service center. And they changed the graphics card a few times, but even so, the system just kept on freezing and even to this day, uh, Apple Care has ran out, but to this day, the system still freezes occasionally. But it's not a major hardware fault, so um, thankfully, for thank, thank goodness for that. After the Mac Pro, I bought a MacBook Pro, the 2.2 GHz quad-core model for my wife. I did not buy Apple Care initially, but during the first year after a few months, I accidentally sat on her MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro was placed on the chair. I was callous. I sat on it and the keyboard area, it bent, it bent quite badly. The screen wasn't that damaged, but there was some slight uh, damage to the internal screen. Anyway, because this is user fault, I sent it to Apple Service Center. I had to pay for the repairs for the keyboard area. But because the screen has no physical damage, um, but the colors were a bit, which were starting to show up weird, Apple replaced the screen for me for free because uh, it was under Apple Care and because they couldn't detect any user damage. So after that incident, um, I was worried that this may break down, so I bought Apple Care. And so far to this date, um, I haven't used Apple Care since. 
And then I bought myself a MacBook Pro as well. This is the quad core 2.5 gigahertz. This is the MacBook Pro that I showed you earlier in the video. I am most likely going to buy Apple Care for this because if there is any damage to the hardware, um, the repairs is going to be quite expensive. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there's not going to be any damage, but just in case, I will definitely get Apple Care for that. Apple Care for MacBook Pros are quite expensive. All right, let's talk about the iPads. I bought an iPad Air many years ago. I did not buy Apple Care, and I did not need to use Apple Care. I bought the first generation iPad Pro. I did not buy Apple Care. And this iPad Pro it broke down on the it broke down one month after the standard warranty ran out. So I needed to use the Apple Care, but I did not have Apple Care. This was uh, quite an expensive uh, purchase for me, so I felt really bad for that. So I had to well get a new iPad Pro and I waited for the second generation to come out and this time I make sure to buy the Apple Care for that and so far um, so good I did not need to use Apple Care in fact um, this is the iPad Pro second generation that I'm using right now and recently I bought the new iPad 6 the one that they released recently in 2018 I am not going to buy Apple Care for this because um, two things. This iPad 6 is not very expensive, so if I need to repair it or if it's spoiled, maybe I'll just um, just discard it. But I'm not going to spend additional money to repair this. And secondly, I am most likely going to sell with this iPad 6, so there's no need for me to buy Apple Care. Let me put some question marks here. All right, let's take a look at the list and see where Apple Care has rescued me and where I have wasted money on Apple Care. So for the Mac Pro, actually for the two Mac Pros, um, Apple Care for me is really worth the money because I sent those Mac Pros to the service center numerous times and without Apple Care, I probably wouldn't be even using Mac Pros anymore because they would be not usable. And for the times where Apple Care is not worth my money would be for the Mac Mini, iMac, Mac Mini, iPad Air. A few times I bought Apple Care and I did not require Apple Care usage. So that's a good thing and a bad thing. Bad thing because I've spent money. I actually bought Apple Care for all my Macs, my computers. For the tablets, I think they are quite durable, which is why I did not buy Apple Care for them. But the first generation iPad Pro broke down on me outside of the warranty period, and that was quite an expensive purchase. I should have bought Apple Care for that. So there are times where I needed to use Apple Care. There are times where I did not use Apple Care. So it really comes down to how lucky you think you are. I did a search on Apple Care on online forums, and there are people who always recommend to get Apple Care because repairs can be quite expensive. But there are also people who would advise against getting Apple Care because they think it's not necessary. Apple products are high quality, they are durable, they do not break down, but that is obviously not true. This is just my personal experience. Whether or not you want to get Apple Care ultimately comes down to your personal preference. But for me, I am definitely going to get Apple Care for this MacBook Pro because if it breaks down, it's going to be quite expensive for me to repair. So that's all for today's video on Apple Care. If you happen to use Apple products, I would love to hear about your experience, whether you think Apple Care is worth the money, whether you have bought Apple Care for yourself, and whether or not you have actually, uh, in any circumstances, required the usage of the Apple Care warranty service. So thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. See you in the next one. Bye.